Yo, what's going on, you savages? Boy, John or Carnage here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another Call of Duty PC tutorial. Apologies for not really doing a lot of uh, gaming PC tutorial that stuff uh, recently. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to do, man. I've been trying to do a lot of Advanced Warfare or Ghost Free tutorials, but all of them, um, sort of. They're broken, bro. I'm, I'm working on it. Don't worry about it. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some of those soon. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be uh, bringing you guys a tutorial on how to install a mod menu on Black Ops 2 Redacted Zombies. I did a tutorial on this for multiplayer, and I've recently figured out how to do it for zombies because I'm an absolute nub scrub and I didn't know how to install a GSC, only a GSCR. And I figured it out, I'm going to do a tutorial on it. So, yeah, I'm not going to make this, like, a million years long, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be for Redacted Nightly, but same premise for really any version of the game, Cracked or Steam. Um, and, yeah, don't worry about this right here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and launch my game. I'm just going to do this, hopefully, with not too many cuts. Um, oh, God, no. That's AIDS, hold on. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to load, um, shit. I meant to load the zombies. Hold up. Uh, ZM. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up the zombies game. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I don't know, die rise, I guess. And if you want a tutorial on how to get the game, there will be a link in the description along to the multiplayer mod mini tutorial. Because I have done a, of course I've done a tutorial on how to get this game redacted nightly. Um, with the patch and all that. So, once you have your game sort of just loaded up here, just keep it on the main menu here, or the pre-game lobby menu, and go ahead and load up your GSC Studio, um, directory. So in this case, it's in my documents, which I'm sure most of yours is in your documents. And from here, go ahead and create a new folder called MAPS, not in all caps. Mm, what the hell is that? Maps. Alright. Uh, and once you n named one called Maps, you're going to want to make another one inside the Maps folder. And you're going to want to go ahead and call this one MP, I believe. Yeah, you're going to want to name the third one MP. And then you're going to want to open up MP and you're going to want to create a new one. And this is for zombies. So... It, I guess it could be different if you're doing this for a multiplayer or whatever, but of course this is a zombies tutorial, so you're gonna want to go ahead and name it, name, name it. There's a cat like sitting on my keyboard right now. Uh, game types underscore zm. And once you have done that, go ahead and open up game types underscore zm, or zombies mode, and you're gonna want to go ahead and pull up your mod menu of choice. In this case, I'm gonna be using Encore V9. Uh, the GSC file, as you can see right here, this isn't a GSCR, although there is a GSCR available with this one. I'll put a link to the original Seven Sins um, link and the YouTube video from Capcom in the description. But once you have the, your game types underscore ZM open, go ahead and drag in your GSC file and go ahead and rename it to underscore client IDs uh, dot GSC and once you have done that you can go ahead and exit out of this folder and launch up your GSC studio apologies if you had GSC studio the whole time I guess just restart it or something or maybe you don't maybe you could have it up I don't remember anyway um, no I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my GSC studio um, alright, so go to connect PC attached to current redacted or steam process, whichever one you're doing. Go to editor, inject a complied script file, add a GSC to inject, and go to projects, or your main uh, directory, which in this case documents GSC studio, project, and click maps. Don't double click it or try to go and inject your uh, GSC right here, you have to do just maps. So select only maps, so it shows you the little directory um, file path, and just select it and click inject list. And it won't really give you a uh, message or anything, it'll just say injecting done down here. And you can go ahead and minimize that and start up your game. 
And that's basically it. And I'm sure, as a lot of you know, if you use the same method as my last tutorial, or as far as I know, just inject a GSCR, depending on how you guys install your menus on multiplayer, you start up the game and you get this little um, script runtime error, and that's how I know anyway that I installed it correctly or injected it correctly. And yeah, that basically tells you that you did it right. And um, you have the menu installed. And as I said, I'll leave a link to this um, menu that I'm using here uh, in the description. Which it's the, the controls on this is really weird. You don't knife to go back. You like use zero on your numbers to go back. Um, and do not give yourself all perks in this menu. I tell you, it'll crash your game. Which I don't even know, but uh, I think this is an older version of it. Uh, honestly, I think this is the 9.4 or 5. I don't know which version is out right now. Um, but yeah, there will be a link in the description to this uh, tutorial. And yeah, I don't know what my controls are. Hold on. I'm really, these controls are really foreign to me, to be honest. Um... But UFO mode. I don't remember. Alright, it is G. Yeah, you have to click zero on your shit. Alright, whatever. That's about, <laughs> that's about it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, or if you need any uh, help or anything, I'll be glad to help you in the uh, comments. So go, just go ahead and leave a comment with your issues. And I'll hopefully be able to help you. So that's about it for this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in my next video as I hit a death barrier. But peace!